Guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use a VPS. I use this for a lot of my sites. So what you're going to do is you're going to create an account with the sign up button here. You just got to input your email and your password. But I'm going to use login because I already have an account. And I'm going to log in. So the first thing you're going to do is this is what you're going to see. You're going to have to add a payment method usually to start out. If you use my link in the description, when you deposit $5, it'll give you $15 in your account. So it gives you a free $10 to use on DigitalOcean. So if you click the link in the description, you guys can get that free $10. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit Create Droplet here, and it will take a minute to load up, but it doesn't usually take too long. So right here, you can select what platform you want it to be on, like Debian, Ubuntu. I just usually use Ubuntu, and then you can select what version here on all of these. So here comes like the size of the droplet you want. You can also do high memory droplets, which are really expensive. I just keep it to standard, and I usually use the $5 a month one if you're hosting a website. Uh, if you're hosting something a little bit more intensive, then I would go uh, maybe for the 10 20 but maybe 10 probably the biggest you need for a website. Um, so then you'll just pick the closest one to you. So mine happens to be New York, and I'll just use three because why not? And you don't really have to mess with the rest of this stuff except for this. You'll rename your droplet, so you'll, I'll name this one YouTube, or you can use, name it like your domain or whatever you want to do. You can also select how many you want to make with these exact configurations, but I'm only going to make one. And we'll just hit create. So once it sets up, you'll see it like loading right here. And once the progress bar is done, it'll give you your IP for your specific droplet right here. And the date, like how long ago it was created and all that stuff. And it'll email you the login to this droplet. So what you're going to do with that login, and I'll show you once it loads in here is you're gonna hit more and you're gonna say access console you can also use putty for this which is what I recommend uh, I'm gonna open up my my email right here and we're going to so it asks for YouTube login so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use root because that's gonna be everyone's starter password or starter username and you're gonna go to the email they just sent you and get the password from it I already got it and you just right click in here and enter and it should since I pasted it in so sometimes it's kind of weird like this if you give me one second I'll be right back when I have it all typed in okay guys I'm back so what it'll do is it'll ask you to type in your password again I don't want to waste you guys' time because I have to hand type it in because for some reason my paste isn't working so I recommend using putty because you don't have that issue so now what you do is you'll type in your new password you want to change it to so I'm going to make mine really simple here. Now you're going to retype that new password. And then you should be done. It should just take you right to the console now, and it does. So now you can type whatever in here, and it'll, it'll work. Thank you guys for watching, and please like, comment, subscribe. If you like this video or want to see something else, just leave it down in the comments, and I'll work on it.